God is in this house, he's in this place, and he's waiting on you, each and every one of you. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you've done for me, my family, my friends, Father God. All of those that have come in contact with you, Lord, I thank you for allowing your spirit to shine through me, Lord, to be able to reach those across the world, neighbors, friends, no matter where I go, Lord, you're with me. And you allow me to touch others. I thank you for that, Lord. Lord, bless a brother, Lord, Father God, in this ministry, Father God. Allow them to say something, Father God, that will touch others' hearts and bring them on in. Father God, because the glory does not go to them, Father God. The glory belongs to you. Father God, we just glorify, magnify, and edify your name, Father God. We praise you, glorify you, Father God. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for this awesome opportunity tonight, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Daniel, Father God, who's here with us tonight, Father God. Thank you for the anointing upon him, Father God. The blessing that you have given. Every time I hear, Father God, I hear your voice. It shines for me. Father God, allow him to be a blessing to others, Father God. To show and share others the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding which you have blessed him with abundantly, Father God. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. And I thank you for every person listening tonight, Father God, that somehow, way, their hearts will be touched, their minds will be open, Father God. In Jesus' name, Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, I know there's so much I can stand here and say about all the goodness that you have given to me. I will continue to praise and worship each and every day of and allow me to touch someone else in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Come on, sister, come on. Come on, that's what we be saying. <laughs> Hallelujah. You overcome by the word of your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. So there shouldn't be no shame in your thing. Praise God. I just want to thank and praise God. Um, I just thank God for who he is in my life. Uh, God is just awesome. Truly, we are in the last and evil days. You know, so many things uh, come up against us and... Um, I don't care if you've been saved all your life. I don't care if you backslid and came back to Christ. You know, the Bible talks about uh, the tribulations. But God says that he delivers us out of them. You know, the righteousness, uh, his children, that he delivers us from our tests and from our trials. But also the Bible talks about how the fire purifies us and how it refines us and how it cleanses us. And Paul said that he uh, would rather be afflicted. You know, otherwise, if he wasn't afflicted or if he didn't experience situations, trials and circumstances, you know, um, he probably would have left God. And it was also Paul who wrote the majority of the New Testament that said he beat his body under submission daily. So here is this man of God, you know, who um, God called um, to become Paul after he was knocked off the horse. But he also talked about the duel in the flesh. You know, when he went to do good, evil was always present. 
But I just want to thank and praise God for his word, that it's true. I want to thank and praise God uh, for his unconditional love. I want to thank and praise God for opening doors that no man can close. I want to thank and praise God for closing doors that no man can open. I just want to give God all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. I want to thank and praise God uh, for this ministry. Um, because when I first came to Vegas, uh, my family and I thought we were going to be a part of this ministry, which, you know, my spirit didn't um, click from the beginning. But uh, Easter Sunday, you know, when the Lord sent me to this ministry, you know, um, it's just been uphill, you know, my relationship with Christ. You know, I've been, I've had the freedom, you know, to go ahead and serve him, you know, under um, a true, true pastors, you know, who pray. Um, you know, we don't walk in the, in the, the Holy Spirit 24-7, you know, we persevere, you know, um, we ask God, you know, to lead us and to guide us. But I just want to thank God for the pastors, you know, who truly prays for us who is concerned about our souls. You know, the Bible talks about giving us shepherds that are over us, that do lift us up in prayer. And I just thank and praise God um, for their patience. And the fact that they even said yes to Christ, you know, God, Amen. I believe he's going to give them a just reward because they said yes to Christ. You know, they stepped out on faith and, you know, they're they're doing the, the works of the Lord. You know, whether they feel like it in the flesh or whether they do it by faith, you know, God honors that. And I just thank God for them. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? 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 This is going all over the world. They need to hear it. All over the world. We're in Australia, Sweden, London, Africa. Hallelujah. Anyone else? <clears throat> well, I have a request. I want my niece to come here and sing. Doesn't have to be long, give me two or three minutes, but I'm just over and sing. Amen. Praise God. Just have to take authority. <laughs> Sitting there with that gift. Amen. Come on, beautiful. Hallelujah. She's a beautiful child of God. She ain't shy. Don't y'all go for that. <laughs> it's right here, please. Right here. Right here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that Sai. 